Shalom, la bachayar yom shal yasha'ala. Peace be to the elect of the nation of Israel. Start with the 144,000 Nabiyayim, our prophets. Giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahshai, Bishem Kagadash. And giving double honors to the elder apostles, the elder bishops, the great millstone who will. Peace and salutations to the rest of the remnant as well. The men, women, and children from our Israelites who are part of that one third number who will receive salvation and mercy from Yahweh Shem Yahshai. And escaping the current. Or the well, the, the coming destruction, which will be by ICBM missiles ultimately and fire from the Mother Cubium or the chariots of, of Israel, which are whom what the world call UFOs. <clears throat> the Lord is coming back in clouds, which are and um, code name for the UFOs, and in which he's going to deliver the elect. And also bring destruction simultaneously to this place. The Lord's going to make a speedy rendance of this kingdom. Being America. Uh, ruled by the Edomites. The Edomites. They call themselves to be weight by his name. Um, <clears throat> the Lord is um, bringing forth judgment. So Shalom to the elect. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners. Like it's a speckled bird that looked like the heathen nation as well. And but let us go back to by the way of their fathers to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which the spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high. Shimei Amafan is a mapa on the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in the city of Philadelphia. It's coming with this wee lesson, so and I'm not sure if I actually um brought this lesson up before, but um you have it, a suspect was identified after a Philadelphia Streets Department worker gunned down on duty sources, I guess say. And it published September the 7th, 2023. And this has been a common thing amongst these different city workers. Note here, this was last year. And suspects identified after Philadelphia sanitation worker gunned down on a job. So, <clears throat> you know, these different um, Philadelphia... Uh, sanitation workers, streets workers, and you know these different departments, and they hire a lot of these guys, and, and these guys are and they're pretty much in the streets. Okay, um, you know, I got you know uh, a lot of uh, activity, you know, in uh, the underworld. You know, the different um, you know hoods, you know the, the drugs and you know, street life. So it says, this is, this is just here. And this guy got gunned down, like, literally, like, um, <clears throat> like, at, at, um, like, the, the, I believe what the guy did, uh, uh, like, the guy, I guess he knew his whole, um, <clears throat> his route or something like that. You know, you can go back to the story, but, you no, know, the guy basically got executed. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Look at how the guys, uh, the suspect wanted at that time. You know, look, you know, tattoos. You know, of course they got beard, but most of these Jake, they uh, they uh, subscribe to the religion um, of falsehood, which is of uh, Islam, and that's not what. As Hebrews lights, that wasn't what the Lord gave us. The Lord gave us the truth. And um, he gave us particular ceremonies. And this religion is truth. <clears throat> um, the knowledge. And, um, you know, he got, uh, of course, uh, Jake that, you know, do listen. They, they're, they're, uh listening and if they listen they being obedient to the Lord not to <clears throat> these different other idols uh, these other Jake find they find uh, these different idols um, and then you know look what is it is brings them to you know teardrops tattoos and and death <laughs> so anyway let's just go on um, 
This happened in Grays Ferry. <clears throat> There's a, a morning shooting outside of a corner store in Grays Ferry has left an employee with the Philadelphia Streets Department deep, according to the law enforcement sources. Holy say, <clears throat> 21 year old man was shot twice on the 23rd or 2300 block of Oakford Street just before 9 a.m. I'm unfamiliar with South Philly area, Grays Ferry. But um, it's hood down there. Um, you got <clears throat> you know, guys that um, I've been uh, about, you know, um, who, uh, hey, the, a lot of times these guys hold different grudges against one another. And when they see them, you know, it's on sight. But a lot of this stuff could be um, avoided because a lot of these Jake, they're um, pretty loose with their lips. And you got to know, of course, how to be temperate. You know, because as we know, uh, the tongue is as a fire, I believe it, it says. Um, James... Chapter 5. And it says here. <clears throat> it's lucky for all of that. Clearing of my throat. It says. Um, Even so the tongue is a little member. And boasts of the great things. Behold how great a matter. A little fire kindleth. And like I said, look how powerful it's the tongue, the words that comes out. Uh, pa, ka, can be, or you know, out of your mouth can be, or from your mouth. Ma, pa, ka. And the tongue is a fire, and it says a world of iniquity. So the tongue. Among our members, that it defiled the whole body, and set on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire of hell. <clears throat> and that's basically it. Or I'm leaving right there. You know, and most uh, you know, Jake they can't keep their tongue, and that leads them into a lot of trouble. You know, simple as that. And Jake. <clears throat> think that they can't take the low and you know a lot of a lot of times um like uh you know you got these different spirits they you know they're trying to provoke you know you to do some type of action but that action could you know basically lead to death you gotta be very very careful what you say <clears throat> so you know words of wisdom brothers watch what you say you know uh you know, to these people and etc. Just uh, be temperate. Now, uh, this is uh, the book of Proverbs 13 and 2. Which it says, A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth. Right? By the work of your mouth. Okay? But the soul of transgressors shall eat violence. Right? You know, so, hey... <clears throat> You know, hey, the different things, all right, uh, what you say, hey, it could bring what? It could bring goodness, because you could speak of good things, and obviously it'd be manifested in your life, do you, how about your mouth shy, all right? Uh, but obviously you have, on the flip side, you know, where... You know, the contrast with the soul of the transgressor shall eat violence. Okay, why? Because the fruit of their lips is bringing forth, you know, uh, you know, bad things. You know, and, you know, it's uh, different doctrines. You, you know, <clears throat> Jake is pushing out, you know, different philosophies. Jake is pushing out and, hey, the Lord is just bringing forth judgment. Uh, this is uh, Proverbs 13 and, and 3. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life, but he that openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. That's right. 
why, what. You're going to get destruction. It's not just because you open your mouth and, and said a thing. It's what you actually speak. All right. And especially to uh, the right people with, that have hey, these spirits of vengeance on them. Okay. So, like you say, you had this guy. Uh, he was transported. You know, you, basically what it said, it says a fight erupted inside a corner deli between a person and the victim who was shot and killed as he ran outside. Uh, basically, they had, as is spoken, an argument. And, hey, the new, hey, guy had took the guy out, basically. It's unknown what sparked the altercation, an argument, obviously over some surprise, something, something, something very petty in street. But the police have issued an arrest warrant for the suspect identified as this person. <clears throat> shit, shit, uh, Sinoc Jackson. This is the second time in less than a year a city worker has been killed on the job. In November 2022. See, it's a pattern. Hey, it's going to happen again. Uh, a sanitation worker was shot. And that's Yahweh Watchazai and killed while on the job in Holmesburg. Yeah, up in you know, near the area where, you know, um I am and such. You had a guy, uh, as I brought that story up, you know, he was on the job, just you know, pretty much um <clears throat> he he's a trash tr trash uh worker, you know, sanitation. A guy, um, I'm not sure I I believe he just like if he either pulled up, I'm not sure he can go back in the story, but basically the guy was, to, you know, stopped the truck. The guy was told to get out, and the guy executed the guy, you know. Um, but, yeah, so this is a a commonality, you know, and these are young bulls that's doing this uh, this stuff. You know, they twenty in their 20s and, and younger, you know, but, um, hey, watch where you are. When you're in these streets. Okay, simple as that. You never know what the hell, you know, was told. This is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 41 and 13. A good life hath but a few days. But a good name endured forever. Right. A good life had but a few days. What more is it a bad life? Okay. <laughs> now these Jake. Um, they, they live in evil lives. You know they're not living to. Yahweh Shem El Shai. Praise the name of Yahweh Shem El Shai. And, and, and trying to. Appease the Lord by. Uh, being repentant. You know, instead they're selling drugs. As chemists. As the um, witches, basically. And they are um, influencing others to do um, the, the various different sinful actions in which they accomplish daily. And they see themselves as getting the heat. Um, and hey, the Lord is catching up with them. All right, uh, which the Lord ain't, 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 the Lord is catching up with them. The Lord just sent out to, to execute the sentence upon them via a deaf angel. All right, simple as that. Give the order, you know, the Lord bring forth his judgment every morning, roughly paraphrasing. And, hey, you hear it in the news, and then as you hear people say, oh, it's tragic. Uh, you can you can watch the the videos on their own. I'm not in the spirit for watching the uh, the different videos of Jake talking about it, but you can watch. I'll leave links. But you know, uh, this place is finished, and just be careful when you're in these streets because, like I say, you got a lot of spirits on people. So hold your tongue, um, which is a good thing. You know, uh, he that keepeth his tongue keepeth his life. Right, as we was going into, he that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life. So you preserve your actual life, all right, by guarding your tongue, observing what you say, all right. Stink before you speak. Okay. We do know that the Lord. Uh, Amen. 
this is uh, an apocrypha as well. Part of original King James Bible. He's, King James is a so-called black man, by the way, if you didn't know. Um... Yeah, that's it. So, Rock chapter 11 and 26. It says, For it is an easy thing unto the Lord in the day of death to reward a man according to his ways. So, hey. You know, it's light for the Lord to bring forth, you know, the judgment. All right? According to what you do. All right? That's why you want to watch. You know what you're doing. Simple as that. All right, a lot of you Jake out there that's uh, you know uh. You know y'all see yourselves as getting y'all acquiring brethren. Thinking that you trust a guy. A lot of these street dudes that y'all linking up with, they're not your brothers at all. Okay, they come back and cut and kill you, and and, and I, like I say, shoot you. You know, dudes holding grudges from way years ago and, and getting you when they see you in the streets. So watch out. Scriptures say, Bring not every man into thine house, for the deceitful man hath many trains, man. So you know, got to be careful who you lay hands on, you know, in general, uh, meaning whom you embrace. And allowing your life. You know, lay not your hand suddenly on no man. You know, so you don't want to be just because you meet this dude and he got a cool vibe. And then automatically you just, he's your friend all of a sudden. No, he has to go do a, tr a proven and a trying process. And he prove whom he is. You know, from obviously he going through different things with you. You know, so, you know, that's the lesson through the spirit. Hey, just, uh, these days are evil. There's other scriptures. It tells us as, uh, believers. says first Timothy chapter four and verse six first Timothy four and six if thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things which it gave different things Thou shalt be a good minister or a good servant of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, nourished up in the words of faith and of good doctrine. You had these, these, good, these good principles, virtues, the high moral conduct and standard, the right behavior. And that's what we're supposed to push forth. Whereunto thou hast obtained. But refuse profane and wife, wives' tables, fables, pardon me, and exercise rather unto godliness. Pardon the bells in the background. I'm not sure what the hell that person is named, but it is Satan. All right, so wives' fables, falsehoods, different words and sayings. Uh, you got a lot of street knowledge that y'all, Jake, y'all think y'all supposed to don't let no man basically punk you out in a sense. And, you know, basically, uh, you know, sun you. You know, and Jake, 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 they don't know how, you know, sometimes you, you got to take that, that, that high road by just, you know, squashing things. 
Simple as that. But uh, Jake, they always want to see him tough. So you see what happened with tough cookies. And on the, on the flip side, they get judged. You know, they get gunned down by the uh, same street dudes that embrace the same philosophies as you. Um, so we're supposed to exercise that rather unto godliness, you know, things of the Lord. Uh, godliness, which goes into reverence, piety, okay? Holiness, separateness. You know, you, Jake, you shouldn't even be involved with a lot of these uh, dudes. And really, like I say, a lot of you, Jake, don't be going to these corner stores, man. These corner stores, like these regular corner stores um, in these certain hoods, like don't go in there. Like, it's, it's pointless. And, you know, I went at one time um, in, in uh, Frankfurt, section of Philadelphia, uh, really what's uh, which is basically Frankfurt. Um, I see they had this Elamite store, corner store, and then, you know, it's a, uh, two Jake. And it's like, it's actually a basement. You go into there, and then it's like a basement. I see these two Jakes sitting on the, on the actual counter of the corner store I walk straight and they got these mirrors so they can see who's gonna come in before they come in I walk right out two Jake looking with drag heads and, and, and young clothes and stuff like that like the uh, little you know, like these little kids the young boys be wearing these uh, you know these uh, I would say like sweatsuits and you know with, with some sneakers and trainers and Dreads in the heat, like I'm, I'm not even going in there. I'm turning away, cause it's just pointless. You don't know what the hell on the dude. He, he got spirits on him. He's sitting on the counter, and, he, and Elon is there, right there, just letting him do what he's doing. You know, so it's iniquity. So it says here that. Uh, Yeah, it's a lot of things it says, but I'm going to read this one. First Timothy 4, 16. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt save thyself and them that hear thee. So, you know, we got to make, be mindful of the doctrine. What's written within the scriptures, these principles, and live it out. Did I Kalia, the instruction, the precepts, the commandments. So that's the lesson through the spirit. You know, stay away from these solitary places, these streets. Um Yeah, it is what it is. Shalom to the elect. All praise Yahweh Shimashabash and Kokadash.